Hi Security Tube. Um, today I'm going to be um, demonstrating a little program that I coded for the SecurityTube.net Python Scripting Expert course task. Um, I think it was in Module 3. Um, just want to say a big thank you to Vivek Ramachandran and all the admins at SecurityTube.net for an excellent course. I'd recommend it to anybody who's interested in Python programming in creating their own um, tools for penetration testing, um, who's interested in InfoSec and is willing to learn. It's an excellent course. Um, today's tool, I won't exactly call it a tool, is uh, I just coded it for one of the tasks. Um, it needs a lot of work, but it works. Um, it's a man in the middle tool, an ARP spoof tool. Um, and for those of you who do not know what a man in the middle is, I'm sure most of you do, but for those of you who don't, I've um, prepared this amazing diagram just to go through the basics. Okay, so in normal communications, what you have is your PC here and your gateway or your router. And when you want to go to a web page, um, you go to your browser, um, you type in www.google.com, um, you send the request to the router, the router goes to the internet, finds the page, um, sends it right back to your browser, and you're at the page, and everyone's happy. There's no interference in the middle, um, it's just normal communications, um, and everything's going well. Now, in a man in the middle attack, what happens is um, the attacker places himself in the middle um, by basically sending ARP packets uh, to each respective party. Um, he will send ARP packets to the target PC, um, impersonating the router, saying to the target PC, um, I am the router. Uh, if you need anything from the internet, you have to go through me. Um, the target in the PC knows no better and says, fine. Um, I'm happy with that um, and basically sends you all his traffic or her traffic. Um, it does the same to the gateway. He impersonates the PC1 um, saying that my IP address is PC1's IP address um, and so therefore all the traffic basically will go through the attacker to the gateway, the gateway to the attacker and the attacker will forward the packets on. It gives, this gives the um, attacker a chance to intercept um, the DNS uh, requests, um, possibly passwords in plain text, um, and so forth. So, let's just have a quick look at the code. Uh, So here's the code. Just put that on full screen. All right, it basically um, comprises of just three functions. That's all it is. Um, up the top here, we're just taking input from the user. We're asking the user to input the victim IP, uh, the gateway IP address, and then the interface name. Um, these couple of lines here, um, what actually, well, this actual line here is what forwards on the packets. Uh, make sure that the victim actually is able to load the um, the page. Um, obviously, it's totally useless if if you're trying to ARP spoof somebody um, and do a man in the middle and they're unable to load their web page because they're just either going to switch their computer off or go out and come back when the internet's on. They're going to think the internet's not working. So obviously, they have to load the page that they're they're requesting. Um, this little line here um, I discovered on the Ubuntu operating system is that um, I was basically getting false negatives um, in the uh, while it was printing out the DNS requests it was actually sending daisy.ubuntu.com which is actually uh, what I understand is crash reports from Ubuntu uh, from my operating system so I didn't need that so this little line has stopped it okay these two functions here are what actually um, poisons the victim and the gateway. They're in separate functions because they're in separate threads. And this function here is the DNS handler. This actually goes into the sniffed packet from the victim and draws out the query that he's asking for. Okay, and if we go further down, these are basically um, MC lists uh, acting as queues for the threads. Um, goes into a while true loop 
Um, and I actually had to send the thread, uh, set the thread as a, a daemon, which I figured out in the end, um, because I was trying to exit it with a control C, wasn't working. Um, I had to go into the command prompt, uh, find the PS, uh, the process ID, and kill it from there, which was doing my head in. Um, I lost all my hair. Um, and this uh, little line here is actually what sniffs the DNS packets. Okay. Okay, let's go to the demo. What I'm going to be doing is uh, the actual the attacker machine will be this Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. My victim will actually be uh, my physical um, my physical computer, and my antivirus has decided to do a checkup. Stop. Thank you. Yeah, well, goodbye. There we go. Right. So, what we're going to do, let's just, let's find out the IP address of the physical machine, quickly. Do IP config. I think it's probably .25, 192.168.10.25 for the victim. Let's get rid of you. Let's go to the virtual machine. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to resize all this so you're able to see it in real time. Right, this is the browser in my victim. This is my attacker. Uh, let's do a sudo python and the program. It's asking for my um, the IP address of the victim, which is 68.10. Actually, just to prove that I'm on different IP addresses quickly. I'm using my alpha card for my VM is on WLAN 0 which is dot 16 okay let's, clear that. let's go back up here sudo python l sniff 192.168.10.25 for the victim 192 168.10.254 for the gateway and the interface is WLAN 0. You can see the poisoning has begun so the victim is now on his browser um, so he wants to navigate to he wants to reload Google and as you can see the DNS requests are actually popping up and he should be able to load his page. Um, let's try Twitter And as you can see, the DNS requests once again are coming through. He should be able to load his page in a second once all the DNS requests go through, and he's loaded his page once again. So I can see exactly where where he's going. These are actually all the DNS responses um, requests. Sorry. Uh, let's try one more. Security. Net. Server for my fan. Okay, let's try that again. The laugh of my interface is just cut out. That'd be brilliant. Security. Let's do a search. Okay. And it should go through now. There we go. Okay. So that's the demo. 